Welcome to this QuickBooks 2019 tutorial for beginners on how and why to set a closing date in your company file. My name is Matt Holquist with the QuickBooks University. So setting a closing date, what this means is that you have completed uh, any entries, any adjustments, any bank reconciliations, uh, credit card reconciliations, whatever it may be, and you are now closing that prior month. Now, this is very, very important to do, especially if you have multiple users within QuickBooks. And even if it's just you using QuickBooks, this will prevent you from making changes to previous months or previous years information. This is really, really important uh, for previous years information, especially when tax returns are done, because you don't want to go in and uh, change that prior year information. Uh, because those tax returns were already completed and that would change the information. You want the information to match between QuickBooks and your tax return. And for a previous month, you don't necessarily want to go in and change anything because you may have, you know, financial statements or bank reconciliations and that will mess up beginning balances uh, for the next month. Okay, so it's really, really simple to do. All right, so what you want to do here is if you go up to the company drop down menu you're going to see an option here that says set closing date all right so if you click on this it's just taking you over to preferences and you know you can also get to this let me cancel this you can also go to the edit drop down menu and go to preferences all right and under accounting if you click on company preferences you're going to see this option that says closing date date through which books are closed not set all right so if we set a date and password you click that all right, and it says here, keep your financial data secure. You recommend assigning all of the users their own username and password. So that's just a, um, you know, you wanna make sure that every different user has a username and password. All right, so the date, all right, uh, you can exclude estimate, sales orders, purchase orders from closing date restrictions. Now, you would wanna choose this because if you prepared, let's say an estimate in a previous month, and you need to go back and you know adjust that estimate or resend it, whatever the case may be, change it. Uh, that way you can go back and do this. And, and you're allowed to do this because estimates, sales orders, and purchase orders do not affect your accounting information, okay? So I would say check that and then put in a closing date. Okay, so the closing date typically is gonna be the prior month, you know, or it could be the prior year. So we'll say November, 2023. And let's say the password, okay, you wanna put a password in place, especially if you have other users. That way, if they don't know the password, they can't go back and make changes, right? So a common problem I see is that people will give that password to somebody else and then somebody will make the changes. So that totally uh, negates the, the whole purpose of closing the books and setting a password. So set a password, all right, confirm the password. Keep it safe, only you know it, and click OK. And now the books are closed through 11-30-2023. All right, so if I click uh, OK, and let's say that I go back to my check register and I find something here that says, uh, let's say, Wheeler's Tire. OK, all right. Well, that's a zero one, so let me go back to a different one here. OK, well... We'll say patent hardware supplies, 489, okay? So let me go here, and if I try to make a change, save and close, okay, QuickBooks lets you do this. Do you wanna save your changes? Yes. Okay, so it's gonna say this modification will affect transactions from closed periods, could affect previous financial reports. You must enter the closing date password. So that's where that's gonna come into play. All right, so it restricts you from making those changes. All right, so we're gonna cancel that. We're gonna revert. And now your previous month or previous year's information is gonna stay the same and you won't have any errors in beginning balances. Any questions, feel free to leave a comment. Also head over to the QuickBooks University. Love to have you join us, become a member over there. We've got lots and lots of members. We've got a great community uh, where you not only get the complete training in QuickBooks, but you also get personal support from me. Head over there, qbuniversity.org.